वन टू थ्री स्टार्ट मिस्टर वाइस चेयरमैन सर आई वुड लाइक टू मेक ए मैंशन ऑफ सम ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ द वर्कर्स इन जनरल एंड दोज ऑफ द शेड्यूल कास्ट एंड शेड्यूल ट्राइब्स इन पर्टिकुलर सर इन द फर्स्ट प्लेस आई वुड लाइक टू स्टेट दैट द रेलवे एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन डज नॉट प्रोवाइड टू द वर्कर्स ए स्पीडी एंड इफेशिकेशियस रेमेडी अगेंस्ट दे ग्रीवेंसिस इफ ए वर्कर इज डिमोटेड ही हैज टू गो टू दाई कोर्ट आफ्टर अपीलिंग टू दी एक्सिक्यूटिव अथॉरिटी इफ ए वर्कर इज सुपरसीडेड ही हैज टू गो टू दी एक्जीक्यूटिव अथॉरिटी इन अपीलिंग एंड देन टू दी हाई कोर्ट इफ ही इज रिमूव और सस्पेंडेड from service he has first to go to the executive authority and ultimately a right is administered to him to go to the high court the result is that if a worker is dismissed from service even though his dismissal is not proper or wrongful he will not get the relief unless he goes through this channel of appealing to the zonal authority then to the labor board and ultimately referring the matter to the high court and lastly the supreme court the result is that in a case where the judicial authority holds the termination illegal and improper the railway authorities are required to pay back the entire wages it is all right that we have removed and dismissal a large number of workers i think they are in thousands what is the outcome of this the outcome would be that there will be large number of cases in the high courts and the supreme court ultimately it would be seen that even if one fourth of the workers get the relief of reinstatement and back wages the railway administration will be required to pay to the tune of crores of rupees by way of back wages and therefore the time has come when we have to consider a fresh as to how our industrial relations should be so my friend has very rightly pointed out that under the industrial law a worker can certainly after dismissal go to the court immediately and get his case adjudicated that forum is available and that remedy is available but that is not so in the railways and i cannot understand what difficulty there could be if you provided a form for speedy and efficacious remedy then the worker will also understand that his case is being judiciously scrutinized and he will feel that he has the case and he will not proceed ahead but when he spends one year or two years before the educating authority he knows and the honorable minister would also agree with me that by and large the tendency is to uphold the order of the lower authorities howsoever wrong illegal improper and malafied that order may be that is the tendency and ultimately when a judicial scrutiny is held that order is set aside and the result is colossal 
loss which the railways can find upon to the bear on account of their wrong policies. Therefore, my suggestion would be that it's high time to consider that the railway administration gave every worker a forum where he can seek the redress of his grievances without much time being consumed in between and in that way it will be beneficial both to the workers and the railway administration. Therefore, this should be done. This is one of my suggestions. Secondly, so even though the railway administration has now taken a decision that all those who had participated in the strike but were not responsible for any sort of violent activities or sabotage or intimidation should be taken back in employment. I can say without being contradicted now that there are today hundreds of workers who have been removed from work and there is no charge against them and that they have not done anything that would amount to intimidation or anything that would amount to doing something violent or involving violent action but still they have not been taken in employment. I have myself represented some of the cases I cannot understand why they have not been taken in employment and therefore in all such cases there has been inordinate delay in taking them back. The railway board should now examine and find out who is responsible for the delay in the disposal of these cases. That is the responsibility of the railway board and the general managers or the zonal managers or divisional managers whosoever were entrusted with the work of supervising the cases and taking appropriate action and if they have committed lapses they should be dealt with so have such delay not be remitted. Then I may point it out that in respect of the scheduled castes there has been discrimination if an inquiry is held it would be seen that the scheduled caste employees have been discriminated against. They were removed from service so they did not participate in any strike or violent activities.